Minnesota is just a few short days from the start of the fishing opener. As anglers prepare to hit lakes, rivers and tributaries around the state, the DNR is busy stocking those bodies of water. Today, Governor Tim Walls got a look behind the scenes of a Twin Cities hatchery. KUIC's Capitol reporter Quinn Gorham explains how the governor's budget proposal could help upgrade an outdated system. May means two things in Minnesota. Budget season at the state capitol and, of course, the start of fishing season. As lawmakers in St. Paul look to finalize the state budget, Walls is trying to reel in the funding to improve the state's fishing hatcheries. Monday, Governor Walls toured a 129-year-old fish hatchery in the St. Paul area, a hatchery which, despite supplying fish for many of the state's bodies of water, hasn't received an upgrade in over 30 years. DNR workers explained that the newest equipment in their hatchery comes from the 1980s, a detail that Walls believes demonstrates the dire need for funding in hatcheries around Minnesota. In his meeting with DNR officials, the governor plugged his original proposal for state hatcheries, $60 million to be exact. Part of that is one-time money, which would be used for various improvements to things like infrastructure. The other part of the money comes in the form of bonding and fee increases, money that would help the upkeep and staffing at those facilities. Walls feels it's past time the state make a meaningful investment in its hatcheries. We can't put our fisheries at risk. We can't put the ability to, uh, to make this uh, generational investment, and that's why we think right now is the time to do that. The bill, which includes investments in state hatcheries, was in a conference committee on Monday as well. The Agriculture, Broadband and Rural Development Bill will determine exactly how much money goes into those hatcheries. This is just one of many budget line items that will come before the state legislature in the next couple of weeks. The Minnesota legislative session adjourns in just three weeks from Tuesday, so the clock is ticking for lawmakers to get those things done and finalized. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. The Minnesota legislative session ends on May 22nd. If there are any remaining tasks for the legislature to get done, they would need to call a special session in order to do anything.